Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. It's not cute, not knowing, as I love to say. And now we're going to know. But now we got to give out a hug because I need a hug. Come on. Over the past 24 hours, a storm swept through and millions were affected by the storm. Millions. Okay, auntie was one of those affected. Last night, I did a event. We've got the Temptations play. It was so much fun with the cast of Ain't Too Proud to Bake. So my night was a little longer, but a bad storm came. So I put my phone on silent like you saw me just do there. And the kids is ringing me. The power's out. Then my neighbor calls. The power's out. So my son. <laughs> so what do we do now? Why do kids always act like the world is coming to an end when there's no electricity? So they kept calling. And I'm like, I'm working. Finally, I said, go to sleep. It's dark. Just go to sleep. We'll figure this all out tomorrow. Maybe it'll come back on. Well, it didn't come back on. And I got a notice in the middle of the night that it wouldn't be on until Friday night at 11. That's when I started freaking out like, no. Long story short, it came on this morning, but I was already dressed. So, if I'm looking crazy, I had to get dressed in the dark. I have mixed match shoes on. Some people told me it's called expressing yourself. I'm at 60. I don't need to do that. I look like a clown, but guess what? I didn't realize it until I got to work. <laughs> there was no turning back. And I said, you know what? We're going to do all our filming today, and we're going to do all our work and our after work party, and we're just going to ride it out like this. But Auntie, is I have two different shoes on. It was, it was rough. It's never fun when you lose power. It just, ugh, it just isn't fun. But I'm here, and we are ready. And last night was a great night for Angela Bassett. She finally got an Academy Award. Now, these are the honorary Oscars that they're starting to give out. Samuel L. Jackson has won. Spike Lee has won. The Governor's Awards. And she was presented by Regina King, who we're going to start seeing a lot of, you know, after she just comes out of mourning of her son. But Angela Bassett got it. And boy, does she give a speech. There's some people who are like, oh, she shouldn't have accepted it. No, girl, you have been an acting goddess for years, and we have been with you through every step. Yeah, she should have won it 30 years ago for Tina Turner last year. Queen Ramonda, Black Panther. But she got it last night. And she accepted it, and now, Angela, no one could take away from you. You are an Academy Award winning actress with that honorary Oscar. I think they want to correct some wrongs, because you would be surprised. The number of actors and actresses, black, white, Latino, Asian, who do not have Oscars. I think she should have took it, and she stood up there like a queen. Keith D, the man who was bragging about, oh, I know who shot Pac. I was there. Well, they arrested him. All that bragging. Now he gets in jail and it's like, I don't know nothing about who murdered Tupac. Keith D is 60 years old. Keith, we don't do, we in the city, we don't do, we don't do that. A judge has granted him bail and said he's going to put him on house arrest. But this is the kicker. The bail is $750,000 and he can't raise that bail money. Stop bragging and putting yourself into stuff. 30th Annual SAG Awards are going to air on Netflix February 24th. Coleman Domingo is nominated for Rustin on Netflix and for the cast of A Color Purple. Color Purple got for nominated for the cast, Ensemble, and Danielle Brooks for her role as Sophia. She's up against Divine Joy Randolph, the Philly native who won a Golden Globe on Sunday night for the holdovers. Outstanding cast performance, Abbott Elementary, Quinta Brunson. So it's kind of like a retread of Sunday night. Maybe it's looking ahead at the Academy Awards. 
but the SAG Awards are February 24th on Netflix. Makeup artist Reggie Wells. You may have heard of him because for three decades, this man was an incredible makeup artist and he was right by Oprah Winfrey's side. He died after a lengthy illness in Baltimore. He was 76 years old. Kudos to actress Regina Hall because her next film, she's going to be starring alongside Leonardo DiCaprio. Pete Davidson, he's got a little substance abuse problem. And when Matthew Perry died, and it was revealed that Matthew Perry, the friend star, died of ketamine. What's ketamine? It's another drug that's addictive. And Matthew Perry wrote in his book, he did not like this drug. They kind of give you a drug to get you off the other drugs because he said it made him feel dead. Well, Pete Davidson admits he's taken ketamine and you will not believe where he was taking it. We're going to take you back to Aretha Franklin's funeral when she died. Remember that long funeral? Well, he was dating singer Ariana Grande. And Ariana was invited to sing. They probably was up there saying, what is going on? That funeral was so long. Well, Pete Davidson has a new Netflix special. And he's up there talking about he was high at the Queen of Souls funeral. He was high on ketamine. And then he said, I'm talking about it now because, you know, she don't know about it. Pete, we're running and telling her. We don't care that she's dead. We're going to be like, Reaper, he was high. It's your funeral. We're talking about it in a Netflix special. Kevin Hart, one of the big stories that came out was that his ex-wife, Tori Hart, who's a very funny lady, is joining Cat Williams' tour. Everyone said, Kevin, what you think? What you think? She's the mother of his oldest children, he said. I hope she does well. I want everyone to win. He need to get involved in all that. Meanwhile, Cat Williams, since he tore up the internet, um, his tour is expanding and he's going to be doing a date in Philadelphia on April the 7th, a Sunday night, because his Atlantic City show is already sold out. Simone Biles is gracing the cover a Vanity Fair. Oh, she looked good. You know, this the year, 2024, Summer Olympics. Oh, Simone looks good. She's the name we're going to be talking about. Boy George. He wants to go out here talking about Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson is little hood. Don't underestimate them Jacksons. She a little hood. Her and Michael. Michael, that is stuff. Someone dug up an interview, and it's of her and her then-boyfriend, Jermaine Dupree. And he's kind of pleading, you know, with her, you know, to, I guess get on the good side. This could have been around the time when she caught him cheating with Stripper, and that's why they broke up. He's trying to appease her, Janet, Janet, Janet. She says, Jermaine, if you don't get the out of my face... Janet is hood for all that beauty. And, you know, she talks so soft and nice. Child, she said that hard. Jermaine, if you don't get the out of my face. So, boy, George, who is claiming that Janet was mean to him, that's probably something happened in the 80s, said, I'm never going to speak to her again. I'm, I don't want her near me. Oh, Jermaine, mm, you might not have to worry about that. Because I'm sure she don't want to be around you either. And there are plenty of things that you could talk about instead of trying to throw Janet Jackson under the bus. At least once a week, I got to give you Amy Robach and TJ Holmes' uh, story. They are reaching with this podcast. Now they're talking about their sex life. Sources are claiming that she can't trust TJ. Those light eyes. How you get them, it's how you lose them. And I'm very serious about this. How you get that person is how you're going to lose them. You never want to be with someone you can't trust. That goes for you men. If you got a woman and you can't trust her, it's never going to work. 
You can't be around somebody all the time. She clings to him. And this is like, girl, he probably can't even go to the bathroom by himself. And they said she just wants to be around him all the time because she just can't trust him. Because, you know, when he was at ABC, he was, he was going through all them departments slinging. They say she's acting like a puppy in love. I know her fellow journalists are like, you have thrown away your whole entire career, your credibility as a good journalist to act like a puppy in love and you got to go everywhere with him. If your mate is taking out the trash and you're walking behind them because you can't trust them, then this is a relationship that's not going to last because trust, trust is such a key component in a relationship. It really is. People think, oh, it's the sex. No, you got to be able to trust that person. You got to be able to trust the person you're with. And if you got to be snooping, going through the phones, doing this, to see who they talking to on their cell phone, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. And it's not a relationship worth being in. I think we all kind of know how this is going to play out. I'm going through comments tonight. I had no power in my house. So now that we have power, I'm going to go home because you guys have lit up my comments and continue to light them up. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss anything. And give us a like, a thumbs up if you like the video. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Thanks so much for joining us. It's not cute, not knowing. Now we know. And now we know that we can't be with somebody that we can't trust.